When the electron is in the region between the two plates, it experiences a force equal to its charge times the electric field. Because the electron's charge is negative, that force is in the direction opposite the electric field, so it's directed straight up. If we take our usual xy coordinate system, we see then that the x component of acceleration is zero. We're asked to find the maximum electric field for the electron not to hit either plate. As the electric field and the force is increased, the electron is deflected farther and farther from a straight line path. When the electric field takes its largest allowable value, the electron will have traveled horizontally, a distance l, and vertically, a distance d over 2. Let's look at the horizontal motion to first find the time the electron spends between the plates, and then we'll use the vertical motion to find an expression for the maximum electric field. In the horizontal direction, the acceleration is constant, so we can use the kinematic equations. With ax equals zero, we can solve for the time t that the electron spends between the plates. It equals delta x over v naught x, which gives us L over V naught. Now we can look in the vertical direction, where the acceleration is again constant. So we can write down this kinematic equation and zero out V naught y, because the initial velocity is in the x direction. We know the time t in this expression, but we need to find the acceleration a y. We'll do that using Newton's second law. Summing the forces on the electron gives us its mass times its acceleration. The force is the electric force. It's along positive y with a magnitude of charge times electric field, and that equals electron mass times a y. We can solve this for the y component of acceleration and substitute that, along with our expression for the time, into the kinematic equation. When delta y equals d over 2, the electric field is at its maximum value. So we can substitute those and solve for an expression for E max. That tells us that the maximum electric field is equal to the electron mass times the plate separation D times the square of the initial speed V naught divided by the magnitude of electron charge times the square of the plate width. Part B asks us to calculate this electric field given some values. So we can substitute all the known numbers including the electron mass and magnitude of electron charge, to find the electric field is 364 newtons per coulomb.